Fiddle came after, a, my first Broadway show was Fiddler on the Roof. I was a replacement, one of the daughters. And, um, and then I did an off-Broadway show and another production of Fiddler in, in a touring company. And um, then I just went to an open cast. I didn't have an agent, I, even after Fiddler. I went to an open casting call for Grace. And um, I think what made it happen was that it was music that I had grown up with. It was, you know, the director said, uh, who were your favorite groups from the 50s? And I said, Johnny and Joe and, and uh, uh, the Drifters. And um, he told me later, he, he didn't really know much about the 50s. He was just looking to see if people were honest, you know. So they called me back in and I sang Over the Mountain and uh, Love Potion Number 9, I think. I wanted to sing Little Darling, but I couldn't do all the backup pieces at the same time. And um, they called me in again and again, and, and, and they cast me. And Grease really turned everything around because Grease led to the Tony nomination, which led to Norman Lear hearing about it and calling me in for an audition for Maud. And, uh, and Maud then, of course. Mm -hmm. 